marginal opportunity cost this video lecture will teach you how exactly can you calculate marginal opportunity cost so the formula to calculate marginal opportunity cost is pretty simple it is unit of one good sacrificed by the unit of the other good obtained some in some books you would also find the word obtained written as gain or simply gain so this is pretty much the formula unit of one good sacrificed by unit of the other good obtained or gained also referred as del s by del g where s stands for sacrifice and g stands for gain now you people by now are aware of the fact that why are we computing marginal opportunity cost we are computing marginal opportunity cost in order to understand the working of production possibility frontier or the production possibility curve let us go through the illustration the numerical illustration which will help us understand the concept better over here you have got certain combinations a b c d and two goods good x and good y i want you to notice over here among good x and good y and see which good is gaining and which good is being sacrificed so if you can see good y you would see it is declining throughout therefore good y is the good which is being sacrificed here whereas good x is the good which is being gained here now let us apply the formula that has been used to calculate marginal opportunity cost it says unit of good sacrificed or one good sacrificed divided by unit of the other good obtained so let us see over here so over here good x is the one which is being gained and y is the one which is being sacrificed so for the combination a you would see the combination x0 and y being 21 so there is nothing that you can write in moc because nothing has been added or deducted so you can leave the combination a blank now let us move forward to combination b now combination b you can very well see that it is gain by 1 and it is sacrificed by minus 1 so if you are to compute del ta over here then it would be what it would be sacrifice upon gain del s by del g right so what would be del s here what are we sacrificing here we are sacrificing good y so therefore it becomes del y by del x so this would come down to 1 further again you are gaining good x by 1 and you are sacrificing good y by 2 this time around therefore for uh, good y it is going to, for combination b it is going to be it is going to be 2 so 1 and 2 now some of you might think that why am i only writing 1 and 2 why am i not writing minus 1 and minus 2 many of you would have this question in your mind but let me make it very clear that although minus is present but minus is not actually going to indicate any relevant fact here minus only shows the inverse relationship between good x and good y as good x increases and good y decreases therefore the minus sign but you absolutely are not required to mention the minus sign while calculating moc now further if you will calculate you will again see 15 minus 18 is minus 3 and 3 minus 2 is 1 and therefore your moc would be 3 again this would be 4 this would be 5 and this would be 6 so this is done in a very simple manner all you have to follow is del s by del g sacrificed upon gain that is it now let us try and understand the relevance of moc further MOC is referred to as the slope of the PPC curve. It's a very important concept. MOC is the slope of the PPC curve. Now, why do we call MOC the slope of the PPC curve? Let's try and understand this. So, we all are aware that slope of a line can be measured by del y divided by del x. Also. you would know that an equation of a line is y is equals to mx plus c but you need not to follow y is equals to mx plus c not required actually 
so del y and del x over here is sufficient for you to understand and to explain why is moc the slope of ppc curve slope of a line as we are aware is del y by del x therefore ppc's slope should be equal to change in good y divided by change in good x and over here change in good y was equal to the good which was sacrificed okay and change in good x was for the good which was obtained or gained therefore moc is the slope of the ppc curve also i would want you people to understand a necessary difference between marginal rate of transformation and marginal opportunity cost they might seem the same they might give the same results but their methodology or their concept is slightly different their conclusion might almost be the same but their approach is completely different for instance marginal opportunity cost is the rate at which one good is sacrificed to produce another good or to put it in a simpler words marginal opportunity cost refers to the rate at which one good is sacrificed to gain the other good whereas marginal rate of transformation is the ratio it is going to reflect ratios so marginal rate of transformation would be the ratio at which one good is sacrificed to gain the other good this is the necessary difference between mrt and moc let us also now solve an illustration where we are going to see how is mrt presented so again i have got certain combinations this time only a b c d e and f no g this time and good x and good y again i want you to take a moment to identify how is this going to work what is the formula that we are going to use what is the difference that we are going to see here between moc and mrt so even in this illustration you can very well see that good x is being gained and good y is being sacrificed so how am i now going to represent this in terms of ratios let us see like in moc we were not required to calculate anything for the first combination a similarly here in mrt you will not be computing anything for combination a whereas for combination b this time around just see what is being sacrificed how much is being sacrificed the sacrifice over here is how much the sacrifice over here is 1 unit over here as you can see good y is being sacrificed and good x is being gained so how are we going to write this we are going to write this as good y is being sacrificed so how many units of good y is being sacrificed over here just one unit so one unit of y is being sacrificed for one unit of x so x is being gained and y is being sacrificed for combination c you can over here notice that this time around you are required to sacrifice two units so two units of y again are being sacrificed to gain one unit of good x and this would go on 3y 1x 4y 1x 5y 1x so this is pretty much the same thing as you did for moc you can see moc was 1 2 3 4 5 6 it was in terms of rate whereas mrt is in terms of ratios it shows the ratio of sacrifice to gain del s by del g this is what is being also done here but it is just being referred in terms of ratios instead of rate 